Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the angles of elevation. And to be specific, we will solve problems with regards to angle of elevation. Quick review muna tayo. When we say angles of elevation, let's say for example, I have a man here standing. So as you can see, I have my very best drawing. Normally, uh, ito yung line of sight ng, uh, ng mga ng tao. Yan yung line of sight natin. And then, let's say for example, nakakita siya ng isang object sa taas. And it can create another line. And this part or this angle is your angle of elevation. Angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line and the line created by the object above the uh, horizontal line of sight. So let's try solving this problem para mas lalo niyo ma-visualize on how to use or how to solve problems with regards to angle of elevation. By the way, um, I suggest na gumamit kayo ng calculator in calculating or in solving problems. So let's start the problem. A man standing outside of his house flew kites every afternoon. According to him, he used 1,250 meters of strain to fly the kites. So, medyo mahaba. Gumagamit daw siya ng 1,250 meters. So, ito yung first information na meron tayo. We have 1,250 meters of strain. And then, if the angle of elevation of the kite to the ground is 43 degrees and 15 minutes, another clue, what is the distance of the kite from the ground? So, Guys, para masolve natin magandang kasi ng problem, you need to visualize and understand the problem. Tapos, mag-create ka ng iyong sariling drawing. Kahit na lang, hindi naman ganun ka So, let's say for example na ito. Uh, you have here a man. Kaya ito palibad siya ng kite. And then, sabihin natin ang dito yung kite natin. Okay, napakagat na aking drawing. Okay, sabi doon, yung man daw ay gumagamit ng 1,250 meters. of string para mapapalipad yung kite. Tapos, another thing is, um, yung angle of elevation daw, the angle of elevation of the kite to the ground, to the ground ah, is 43 degrees and 15, minute, 15 minutes. So let's say for example, this is the ground. Yeah. Ito daw ay, itong angle na to is 43 degrees and 15 minutes. So again, Ito yung parang horizontal line of sight natin. Ito yung another line na na-create because we have the object above the horizontal line of sight. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na angle of elevation which is 43 degrees and 15 minutes. So ang tanong dito, what is the distance of the kite to the ground? Ganon daw kataas itong kite to to from the ground. So makapag-create tayo dito ng isang broken line. So as you can see guys, perpendicular tong broken line natin dito against the ground. So we can we can imagine a right triangle here na kung saan pag hiniwalay natin yung right triangle niya, ito yung magiging itsura ng ating right triangle. We have this one. Okay. Ito yung ating right triangle. Okay. And dito yung man and okay. This is 1,250 meters. Tapos, ito yung 90 degree. Ito yung, yung angle of elevation which is 43 minutes and 15, uh, 43 degrees and 15 minutes. Tapos, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay itong part na to. Again, ang pinapahanap sa atin guys ay itong side na ito. So, ngayon sir, paano pa-solve yung mga ganyang problem? So, isipin mo mga buti, with respect to this angle of elevation, which is 43 degrees and 15 minutes, ano yung purpose, ganyan natin itong x. So, for example, this is x. Ano yung, anong klaseng side? Itong side, itong side x natin, with, with respect to your 43 degrees and 15 minutes, that is your opposite side, okay? And basically, itong ating string, yung ating 1,250 meters, that is your hypotenuse. So, isipin mo ngayon, which trigonometric ratio is appropriate to use if you have the sides of the opposite and hypotenuse? 
and that is sine. Okay? You will be using sine. So you have here sine 43 degrees and 15 minutes. So sabi natin, di ba, opposite over the hypotenuse. Yung opposite natin is x. Again, opposite kasi katapat siya. And then yung hypotenuse natin is always opposite to your 90 degree angle. Ito siya. So you have here 1,250 meters. Ngayon, what you will do next is to solve for x, syempre. Ang kailangan mo makuha si x para malaman nyo yung height. So we will, what we will do here is we will cross multiply. Meron siya rito invisible one. We will cross multiply, guys. 1 times x is x. And this one, you have 1,250 meters. And then times sine, 43 degrees. And 15 minutes. So, gagamit natin yung calculator natin. Ako, I have my scientific calculator installed sa aking iPad. But if you have your own scientific calculator, madali lang siyang gawin kasi you, you, you can on, only press, i-press mo lang si, again, na, press mo lang si 1,250, 1,250 sa yung calculator, and then press mo rin si sine 43 degrees and 15 minutes. So, press equal sign, ang nalabas na yun is 856, 47, 87, and so on. So tayo yung dito, ang gagawin natin is we will simplify or we will round it off into two decimal places lang naman. So this is x is equal to 856 point, round off natin, 478 So it will become 4, 8 meters. Ito ngayon yung value ng ating x. Sir, if that is the value of x, ano yung nasagot natin? Ibig sabihin niyan, the height or the distance between the kite and the ground is 856.48 meters. Ganun lang siya kasimple guys. So I hope na sa first example natin, you already know how to calculate for sample problems with regards to angle of elevation. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you another, again, Another example, wherein you, uh, ang target ko talaga dito is to practice more, is for you to practice more about solving problems under angles of elevation. Now let us solve the second problem. A 200 feet building cast a horizontal shadow of 100 feet long. What is the angle of elevation of the sun? So dito, kahit di na tayo mag-drawing na actual uh, object natin, so, ang gagawin na lang natin dito, isipin na lang natin na uh, yung ating building, for example, yung ating building, so kailangan straight kasi building ito. Ito yung ating building. Ang height doon ng ating building is 200 feet. Yan. Tapos, syempre di ba, let's say for example, nandito yung araw. Ito yung araw, yung sun natin, yung sun. Word ba lang, word. Sun. Tapos, this is your building. Meron siyang shadow na nabu na nagagawa. At ang length daw ng shadow na to, this is the shadow, ah. Shadow. This is your building. Yan. Our building. Ang length daw ng shadow, okay, building na lang. Ang length ng shadow is 120 feet. Tapos, ang tanong dito is ano daw yung angle of elevation natin dito? Okay, what is the angle of elevation of the sun? Ibig sabihin, pataas tayo. So, ang gawin natin dito ang angle theta na lang. Ang hinanap ngayon natin is angle theta which is the angle of elevation for the sun. So, as you can see guys, uh, with respect to this angle theta, or yung angle of elevation natin, this is your opposite and this is your adjacent side. Meaning, you will be using here tangent. So we will have here tangent theta. Again, tangent theta. Now for tangent theta, ang gagawin natin dito, that is opposite over the hypotenuse. Ang value ng ating opposite side is 200 feet over your hypotenuse which is ah sorry 
at hypotenuse. This is adjacent. Sorry, guys. Adjacent. And then yung ating adjacent side is 120 feet. Or ganyan lang 120. Yan. Yung numerical value na lang. And this is tangent theta. Now to solve for theta or for the angle of elevation, like ito, tangent is equal to theta is negative 1. Ngayon, kung meron kayong gamit na calculator para maku makuha nyo yung tangent ratio negative 1, uh, what you will be using is your scientific calculator. You will press shift or second function at kailangan nyo lumabas dyan ay yung tangent ratio negative 1. Tapos, yung iba, kinukuha pa nila yung value ng 200 over 120. Sige, yung muna unahin natin. 200 divided by 120. That will give you 1.666 ang layo. Medyo mahaba. So, lagyan natin dito 1.67 na lang. Yan. Tapos dito naman, uh, continue natin to. Since ang 200 over 120 by 1.67, this will become theta is equal to tangent ratio negative 1, 1.67. And what we will doing is, again, kailangan makuha mo ito, i-press mo sa calculator mo. Again, shift or second function, tangent, 1.67. So, may lalabas dyan, 59.08 something. Pero, since angle na harap natin, you can press a degree, minute, and second symbol. So, lalabas dito ngayon ay ito. Ang sagot natin dito ngayon is 59. So, tangent theta is equal to 59 degrees and 5 minutes. Okay? Pero actually, guys, uh, pwede naman siya. Pwede itong, ano, pwede itong i-direct sa ibang calculator. Eh. Pero mag-iiba ng konti ito. Again, mag-iiba ito ng konti. Sige. Uh, dito kasi nag-round off tayo. Kaya nabuwasan natin yung value or nadadala natin yung value. Hindi siya eksakto. So, tanggalin natin ito na konti. Ang gawin nyo ngayon, by the way, yung ginawa natin correct, tama rin, may mga ganang teacher na pinaparound off. Pero tayo, sige. Kasi since na scientific calculator naman kayo, i-press nyo yung shift tangent. So, magiging tangent ratio negative 1 yan. Tapos, i-enter nyo itong 200 over 120. And then, meron dyang symbol na A over B or fraction. So, press nyo yung 200 over 120. Talaga siya na 59.03 something. And then, equal sign. Tapos, i-press nyo yung degree, minute, second the symbol. And this will give you the exact answer, which is 59 degrees and 2 minutes. Ito ngayon yung value ng ating angle theta. Ibig sabihin yan, if that is the value of your angle theta, the angle of elevation of the sun is equal to 59 degrees and 2 minutes. Ganun na kasimple. So, mukha siya komplikado because this one is trigonometry. But, if you know how to manipulate or to do, to use trigonometric ratios and you understand well the problem and illustrate mo na maayos yung problem, hindi siya maging mahira para sa'yo. So, I hope na natuto ka sa ating channel or sa video na to. And kung meron kang suggested topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!